Hi, this is Sara. Welcome back to Hello Iran TV. In this video, I will show you how to cook one of the most delicious Persian food, which we call it abgusht. So join me. Abgusht means meat broth. This is one of our traditional foods and I can tell you most of the Iranians love this food just as Orma Sabzi. This food is so popular in Iran and I can tell you we have some restaurants around Iran which they exclusively serve Abgusht and no other food. So now you know how important is this food for us. Now let's get to the main ingredients of this delicious Iranian soup. The main ingredients are lamb, white beans, chickpeas, dried lime, garlic, potato, tomato and onion. Just to let you know, the original version of this food should be cooked by lamb and also some of the people would add uh, some pieces of fat which uh, gives it good taste and makes it delicious but because I don't uh, like fat very much so I'm not going to add uh, fat to my abgush and also I don't like lamb honestly very much so and this time I'm cheating and I will add beef and lamb to my abgush not just lamb and definitely I have bones which makes it more delicious so just to let you know since i'm using beef it takes more time for cooking so this time i will use my pressure cooker which makes it easier for me to cook it fast and very well the most important thing about this food is that it should cook very well now first of all i will add a bit cooking oil just a little i don't want to be unhealthy very much and also i have to chop in the onion not very small pieces just a bit chopping onion is one of the most important ingredients in most of the persia foods just to let you know okay i will just chop it into small pieces i think this much is sorry I think this much is enough as I told you not very small and I think two onion will be enough it depends on the how much meat you are using in your food I think this is my third time I'm cooking this food because most of the time my mother uh, cook all gush and it's a kind of food that Persia families they have it in their weekends and they just get together and eat it and it's really fun because just to let you know the serving of this food also is so interesting just I will show you a bit later now let's just adding the lamb bones and beef okay now i will put it on the stove and let's start it i forgot to tell you we need turmeric also which is here i like turmeric and i use turmeric in most of my foods so i will add turmeric pepper and also salt Okay, okay. now I will add white beans and chickpeas just to let you know the white beans and chickpeas it's good to stay in water at least for two hours just for preventing the bloating now I will add the white beans then I will add chickpeas I just added one cup of white beans and half a cup of chickpeas now i will add garlic which makes it so delicious i like garlic three cloves of uh, garlic will be fine i will add my garlic too and i forgot to tell you we need tomato paste one or two tablespoon of tomato paste 
which gives it good taste and absolutely great color. And also at the end, I would add dried limes. Okay, now I have to mix it a bit. It might not look so good, but believe me, it's so delicious. And also, just as you can see, it's not very hard. I mean, the recipe is easy. Finally, I will add water. Okay, now I will let it cook. It only need 45 minutes to one hour because I'm using pressure cooker. But if you are using cooking pot, then definitely you need more time. At first, once I was using these uh, pressure cookers, I was a bit afraid, but now I really love it because it makes everything easy for me and everything cooks so fast inside it. Anyway, let's wait 45 minutes to one hour. Okay, it's time to open door okay as you can see it has cooked very well now I have to peel tomato and potato and add them to my food also I will add a bit saffron one of the most popular Persian spices. Also, I think I will add some pieces of bell pepper. All right, so I will wait for 30 minutes to cook very well. All right, it is somehow ready and it is time to make it ready for eating. The fun part of this food is serving it. Now I have to separate the bones and the broth. I have separated the broth and the bones. All I have to do is to add some pieces of sangak bread or any kind of Persian bread, but mostly we use sangak bread to this broth. So we are making tilit now with these pieces of sangak inside this delicious broth now let's go to the solid part and I will separate the bones and I should mash almost anything in here together with my Persian masher I'm not sure if you have seen this kind of mashers but these are so popular in the markets you will find in Iran. These are Persian mashers. It is ready to be mashed. We should mash it very well. And we call it gusht kubide. This is also another part of this delicious food. Okay guys, I have mashed gusht kubide very well and Kuchkubide is ready. Also, we have tilit. As I told you, the serving of this delicious food is exciting. You can eat this kuchkubide with any kind of Persian bread. I highly recommend you to try it with sangak bread. And also, you can have some side dish like sirtarshi, which is basically made of garlic and vinegar. Also, you can have it with yogurt or even raw onion and I recommend you try it with fresh basil too. So now let me try the Gushkobide with Sangak. Mm. I think it's good, great. I highly recommend you if you have any plan for visiting Iran, definitely try up Gush in Iran. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.